Pro. Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial on the Cubase 8.0.5 update for Windows. Uh, I've just downloaded it, I've not installed it, so I thought I'll walk you through the process, let's see how easy it is, and uh, yeah, I'll take it from there. So here's the install uh, file, so let's double click, we'll run, yes, program update on your computer, lovely. Update. Excellent, we'll do the 64 one. Here we go. Okay, so both updated. Finish. That seemed pretty painless. So let's check. QBS 8.5 look, 64 bit version 8.5, 17th of December, let's have a look, and we'll just open a blank one for now. So that seemed pretty painless, no issues at all, uh, F3, I've just opened up the mixer, uh, Again, works well. Uh, I'm not sure what the updates are. Uh, I've actually just got in and saw that there was an update, so quickly jumped on it and downloaded it and installed. So, yeah, that seems to be it. The install was absolutely sweet. I think what I'll do now is just pause it here and go and have a quick scout around on the Steinberg site and see what the fixes are. Then uh, we'll come back and record another session. So, see you soon. Hello, welcome back to ADSR Pro. Uh, this is part two of the Cubase 8.05 update. So I've just been to the Steinberg website and downloaded the um, the PDF basically saying uh, what's been fixed within this update. So I'll just quickly go through these. So there's a fixed issue where clicking on registered now has no effect, that's on OSX only. Fixed an issue where using start license activation had no effect, OSX again only. Fixed an issue where changing tempo affected the volume of channels in a VCA fader link group. Uh, not something I'm aware of, so it hasn't affected me. Fixed an issue that allowed VCA faders to be included in their own link groups. Again, I have not discovered that issue. Fixed an issue where missing input ports caused a distorted sound. Again, not relevant to me. Fixed an issue that rendered the application unresponsive when lanes were used. Uh, fixed an issue where the automatic hit point detection rendered the application unreliable when large audio files were used. And fixed an issue where the song position pointer was left visible on screen when minimizing the application window. Fixed an issue where the VST bass amp plugin rendered the application unreliable. Uh, fixed a latency issue when monitoring when using VST Connect SE3. Uh, also fixed an issue with wrong user interface scaling on PC Windows systems using high resolution displays. So those are all the, the updates. Uh, to be honest, I haven't noticed any. Uh, Cubase 8 for me has been so reliable and rock solid. Uh, it's shut down maybe once uh, that I'm aware of. Other than that, I've not had any serious crashes. Uh, everything seems to work as it should for me. The only one thing that I did detect, uh, I was going to do a video on solo defeat and the alt click on the main screen didn't work for me. So other than that, that's it. So yeah, anyway, great. I'm glad obviously Steinberg uh, are on the ball and, and starting to roll out updates already. So that's good news. And uh, yeah, so far I've not got any problems. If, if any of you have, then you know do get in touch and uh, we'll have a look and see if we can't resolve them for you. So until next time, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.